So we can also have angled moments. Notice here that the force being applied is not going straight down. So all of our examples, we've had it going straight down, which makes it really easy. The issue comes then because this force is applying some horizontal force and some downwards force. And of course, the horizontal force doesn't affect our moments. It's not causing a clockwise rotation or an anti-clockwise rotation. So we need to figure out what component of it um, causes a moment. So let's say that this angle here is 45 degrees. Obviously, we're not given that on the diagram, but I'm just using it as an example. And we'll use the same coin here. You can see it's still there. That's 10 grams, which is 0 0.01 kilograms. Okay, so again, the weight here will be 0 0.01 and then we're taking g as 10 meters per second squared. So 0 0.01 times 10, so 0 0.1 newtons. Okay, so we need to figure out what component of this is going down, and then we can solve for f, okay? So let's consider the anti, sorry, the clockwise um, moment first, because this is the one that's causing a clockwise rotation. So we're gonna have 0 0.1, times whatever distance it is from the pivot, which is one meter, which makes it really nice, 0 0.1 times one. This is a force times a distance, so the answer is gonna be 0 0.1 and the units are Newton meters. Okay, that's our clockwise rotation. And if this is in equilibrium, we already know um, that the anti-clockwise moment has to be the exact same. Okay, so we just need to figure out what component of this force is acting vertically. Well, if we draw a triangle here, not the best triangle, it's got some weird tail on the end here, ignore that bit. Um, so we've got the triangle here, this is 45. Um, we know that this side is called F. So what would, this side is our vertical component, so what would that be? Well, we would use trigonometry, this is the opposite, so this side would be F sine 45. Of course, with 45, the horizontal component and the vertical component will be the same, but it's just an example. Um, okay, so F sine 45. So, and then the distance from the pivot is 0 0.4, so it's going to be the anti-clockwise moment, which is 0 0.4 times F sine 45. And of course, we can't really do much with that at the moment. Um, but we know this is in equilibrium, so these two are equal. So we'll have 0 0.1 equals 0 0.4 f sine 45. We can do a little bit of rearranging here and we'll end up with 1 over 4 sine 45 is f, okay? And giving this to two decimal places, we're going to get 0.35 newtons, and that's 2 dp. So you can see, even though this force wasn't working vertically, we can still calculate a moment. We just need to figure out what component of it acts vertically. Now, obviously, I could change this angle here to whatever I like. I could make it uh, 60 degrees, which means more of it is being applied downwards because, of course, the line of action would be somewhere more here. Um, I could make it less, so I could make it sort of 30 degrees, being more here, and that would give a more of a um, horizontal component, therefore less of a vertical component. I can change the angle to whatever I like, I just use 45 here because it's quite a nice number to use. Um, but you can see we can still solve for F and figure out what um, moments it's producing.